So now we will go more into the automation part of mobile wallets and we will give a definition first and then we will um, get, uh, Wendy will guide you through how we can do this in Cherry Pi. So one word that I would like to say more about uh, automation is on the same report that I mentioned earlier that you can download on passkit.com, um, there is a section where we actually explain how automation is gaining a more and more uh, relevance. And basically, based on the data you have on your customers, you can tailor um, better content to them and then deliver it to the people that are actually interested in what you want to say. So for example, if you have three, four segments of customers, then with automated offers, you can actually give each one of these segments the best experience they can have. So maybe now we can go a bit more into detail. Definitely. So automation, as Nicholas was saying, you know, marketing automation has been a term that a lot of people have you know, been talking about. A lot of businesses are starting or have already been adopting marketing automation. So what mobile wallet content does in this case, if you think about it as not just marketing automation, but mobile engagement automation, being able to engage with your customers, but also automating that so that you don't need to manually do it every time. And probably the biggest, probably one of the uh, most popular examples of automation is with something that we like to call loyalty coupons. Or you may have heard the term perpetual coupons or chained coupons. All, all means the same thing. Essentially what it does is um, for example, I'll show you how to do this in Cherry Pie. You set up, let's say, five different offers. Let's say five different coupons in this case. You then create a single campaign. You determine the order in which you want to deliver offer one, two, three, four, and five. And then you can also define how you, um, I guess, at what time you should be delivering the next offer, and then the next, and then the next. And the really cool thing about this is that Number one, mobile wallet content, as I mentioned earlier, is dynamic. It can change. It does not need to be redistributed. It does not need to, you know, you don't need to redesign something. It's all through that one piece of content. So if you've already acquired your customer, let's say from the get-go, they've downloaded the first coupon, they've redeemed it, you can then immediately distribute another coupon. So you kind of, you always give them something to come back, a reason to come back to visit you and to, and to spend. And what this does is actually not just you know pushing out coupons, but it also does encourage loyalty to know that from that one piece of content, you can then deliver another and another and another. And this can keep going on and on and on, but it's more about you building that engagement, building that loyalty, and as Nicholas mentioned, being able to segment um, you know, users or your customers based on their behaviors. You know? So you could, you could even say, if the customer has redeemed this specific coupon on shoes, don't deliver something on hats. You know, you could deliver more, you know, something with related to socks or something in that in that range of things. So really how I guess how you want to deliver the content is up to you. You can use segmentations, understanding your customers will allow you to do that. And through Cherry Pot, you can easily automate the, the flow of that. For example, before moving on, let me say one more thing to give you a, maybe a, a better understanding with an example. Let's say you have your boarding pass, right? Uh, you go through the check-in and after the check-in, uh, the content on your wallet changes and it becomes like a free coffee at the um, coffee shop within the duty-free area, for example. So you go there, redeem your free coffee, and then after that you get another uh, message that allows you to get 10% uh, off on a purchase within the airport. And then if you want, you can go on and on or you can just stop it there. So really, really, you can, you can promote customer engagement at a much higher level. Mm -hmm. That's something that I really, really want to underline. And I hope this example helped you a little bit understanding how this would work. And now let's, let's go actually through the process of creating this. Yeah, so we'll jump back in quickly into Cherry Pie. And again, I'll show you guys at a high level how this would look like and how this would work. Um, but for the full details of how to actually create an automated campaign, we'll send you guys the resources to that um, a little bit later. So we'll start with 
since I'm a big basketball fan, we'll start with the with the NBA as an example. Um, let's say I want to create a coupon for the NBA. So this is my design number one, offer number one. Then I can design offer number two, which is the, an NBA Warriors fan pass. Let's say it's a loyalty card in this case. So in my campaign, what I want to do is reward people for redeeming that first coupon by then allowing them to be a part of our loyalty program right away um, and give them certain uh, other cool offers upon joining that loyalty program. So in, in any kind of automation campaign that you want to do, especially in Cherry Pie, you need at least two offers. You need to you know have something to automate and send to the customer. So our recommendation is start with two offers, maybe include more as you get as you test and understand the behaviors of your customers and what gets them to you know redeem certain content. But at a bare minimum, you need two offers. Once you've done that and you have your offers, you'll create a campaign. And by creating campaign, I mean, I'll show, again, I'll show you the details of how to actually set this up in Cherry Pie. Um, but the key thing I wanted to show you guys today is the rules bit. And this is where the automation piece comes into Cherry Pie and to Mobile Wallet. Because you've already stated that, you know, I want to deliver a coupon on the first, um, first click or the first install. And then I want to give all my all the people that have redeemed that coupon a loyalty card for to reward them for their loyalty. What you can do then is easily set this up in Cherry Pie by saying, you know, when a customer redeems this coupon, the action that you want to do is you want to push a new offer after, let's say, one day. And you can continue to add rules and rules to this depending on the number of offers or the number of um, rewards that you want to give to your customers. And it's really, really easy to do now by you know being able to build in that logic just from here without needing to know the API or how to use the API yeah. or bringing in IT. So all this stuff can be defined through Cherry Pie. All you need to do is really design what, what you want the customer to see and then just automate that experience for them. Um, now this is where I guess we'll talk a little bit about the distribution. So you've automated, you've created your automated campaign, now you're ready to send it out to customers. And we'll go into a little bit more detail on the different distribution methods yeah. and how you can integrate mobile wallet into your existing online assets and offline assets. Um, but in this case, it's really, really cool because straight from Cherry Pie, once you've activated that campaign, you can send this out um, to your contact lists, for example. If you have you know, an, an email list, you can simply upload it to Cherry Pie, define, you know, do you want to send this to the segments that you've created? Um, you can say, I only want to send this to male, the, uh, the male population of Hong Kong, or I want to send this to the female population in Antarctica, whatever that might be. Um, but from here, from Cherry Pie, you select the contact, who you want to send it to, you select the segment if you want to send it to a segment, and then send the email, and then just read it through email, actually. And, we won't show you guys this in, in this webinar, but you can actually create email templates in Cherry Pie, um, make it personalized to your customers, and then instantly send them the, the campaign through email. And you can design this all through here, which is very, very cool. You don't really need to exit Cherry Pie. You kind of can do everything straight from the get-go. You know, you create your offer, create the campaign, send it to your customers, and just, and just watch how, how it performs.